Chimineno, today we are going to cube a binomial. I told you before that binomial means we have two terms. If, for instance, we call this side A and here B, we can label, we can label that. So, I want you to label this side A. And here, B. Okay. And here, A. Oh, this is square. Mm -hmm. So this should be A too. So go ahead and do that. So if this side is A, what would this side be? E. So go ahead and label this side too. If this side is A, what would this side be? E. Go ahead and label it. If this side is B, what would this side be? B. Okay. So this is uh, And what would this side be? B. B. So, I did B properly. So we have a binomial squared here, a plus b, a plus b, a plus b, a plus b. So we have a plus b squared, that's what we have here. What we have here is a plus b squared. That's what we have here. Okay. Now let's find the area yes. of the binomial squared. So A times A will give us the area of this. Yes. What will it be? A times A. A square. So Go ahead and label it. B times B. What will be this area of this? B square. So. area of this B times A B A so label it and here the area of this rectangle A times B A times B A B so label it Okay, so, so what we have here, let's, let's, so we see that, mm. 
this kind A plus B that we wrote before. Feel like we can do this. So we have to have a plus B squared Let's get these pieces out. We have A squared this is what we have a squared plus of these rectangles here BA and AB and two of them plus B squared. So this is what we have. Now we want to cube this binomial. So you can see that A plus B squared, we are having A squared, B A, A B, they are the same thing. We have two of them plus B squared. Yes. So this is a, a binomial squared. Now we want to cube it. When you want to cube a number, if for instance you have 2 squared, you want to cube it, you multiply this again by 2. Yes. That will give you 2 cubed. Okay. So we are going to multiply this binomial squared by a plus b. So let's go ahead and do that. times a plus b yes so let's try to get another So we are going to so let's multiply this to get uh, a plus b cubed. Okay. So I'm going to get all these pieces.
So let's isolate B and multiply everything here by A. By A. Okay. So go ahead and do that. A squared times A. That equals A cubed. A cubed. Now, look at this. This is an A cubed. Yes. It's an A cubed. Okay, continue. B A times A equals B A squared. B A squared. Now, B. This is A squared. A squared. And the height of B. Yes. So this is B, B is A squared. Continue. A B times A equals A squared B. This is A squared. A squared and the height of B. Yes. Mm -hmm. B squared times A equals B square A. This is the height of A. Yes. This is B squared. So we have we are done multiplying by the first term of the multiplier. So we should isolate and start multiplying by b. Mm -hmm. A square times b equals a square b. A squared, the height of B. Second term. Mm -hmm. B A times B equals B square A. Yes, this is B squared. The height, height of, of A. A B times B equals A B square. B squared, the height, height of, of A. a. times B equals B cubed. How's it B cubed? Okay, so we have a binomial cubed here. Yes. So what we have here Let's see, how many pieces do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pieces. Two cubes and six rectangular prisms, right? Yes. Okay, so let's see how we can build a binomial cubed. Now put... This is our A cubed. Put here. This is a B A square. A square. Put it here. And this is a B squared A. A. 
put here. So this is our first layer. Yes. Okay. And this here. Our second layer. Is a height of B. It's another thing. Height of B. A B cube. A B cube. Here. So this is a second layer. Yes. Okay. So let's get our pieces again and see all the pieces here. We have our A B cubed here. So now let's get our first layer. This is our first layer. Yes. Put on top of our second layer. So you can see that we have a cube of A plus this is A plus B. We have A plus B. We have A plus B. We have A. Plus B. If you look down here, the same thing A plus B. A plus B. A plus B. The same thing here at the bottom here A plus B. And here A plus B. So all over we have A plus B. So that's why it's A plus B cubed. If you open it, it's the same thing. You see the same pattern. You have you have A plus B. Yes. You can see from here. A plus B. Are you saying it? So all over. So we have a plus B cubed here. So, what do we have here? Uh, let, let's look at the pieces we have here. We said That's what we have here. Equals. What do we have here? We have a cubed, right? Yes. Then we have. Let's get all the pieces we have. We have a cubed. We have, we have a squared b. Is there another a squared b? This is a squared b. A squared B and this is B A squared they are the same thing right yes and then let's move on then we have a B squared 
Is there another AB squared we have? We have B squared here. They are the same thing. AB squared. AB squared. And we have B cubed. So, so we have, we are arriving at A plus B cubed, our binomial cubed equals, what do we have here? A cubed, A cubed, A cubed plus 3, we have A squared B, B, B A squared, squared. they are the same thing, A squared B, they are the same thing, so how many of them? Three. Three. So three A squared B plus what do we have here? A B squared B squared. B squared A. They are the same thing. B squared A. How many pieces do we have? Three. Three A B squared. Three. Three A B squared. Plus, what do we have here? B cubed. B cubed. So, this is our trinomial, I mean our binomial cubed. Yes. You can see.